folks. Hope you're well. My name is Dustin Furl. I'm here hanging out at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. On my lap, I've got this really nice 2003 Schoenberg guitar. This is a ES Soloist uh, built by Bruce Sexauer. And it is essentially a OM28 style guitar, but reimagined uh, to bring out all the strengths that the body has to offer um, and sort of make it the finger picker's dream. And, you know, I, I kind of have to agree that it is really a superlative finger saw guitar. Um, it's got the typical 15 inch across uh, lower bout and what appears to be about just, just a hair over four inches deep on the sides. So, you know, pretty shallow and very intimate feeling. Um, and something I love about uh, these sorts of guitars next is that they're generally a little bit shallow, but not too shallow. And they have a good amount of, um, cheeks on the side of the neck, I like to call it. Uh, so you got great reinforcement for your uh, bigger chord stretches and bars and stuff like that. So it just feels really good. Um, this particular example has a very, almost a 20 year old uh, broken in top. It's Italian spruce and Honduran rosewood for the back and sides. So just a really great, rich, sounding combo, very sensitive for finger style guitar. I love Italian spruce guitars. In fact, I think I've played a soloist much like this one before. It was my first time playing a Schoenberg and I fell in love with it because it's like basically everything you love about a Martin, but just even more responsive. And truthfully, much lighter than your typical uh, factory made Martin, even from the custom shop, I would say. Uh, Schoenberg's and mostly Bruce's guitars in general, Bruce Sex are they're extremely light. I don't even know how he gets them that light. It's just like, they're like a feather. It's like probably not even three pounds, this guitar. Um, but yeah, so it's got a really nice patina to the Italian top, really lovely silking and tight grain. Uh, the other thing I love about um, Bruce's guitars and Schoenberg's in general is that they typically have wider specs. Uh, so I mentioned the neck being a bit, you know, fuller on the sides to give you some reinforcement, but it's also got a two and five sixteenth bridge spacing and a, 1.78 nut width so just you know three hundredths of three hundredths of an inch more than your typical uh, inch and three quarter but it makes a huge difference at least to me i tend to get my uh, uh, recording done much faster on guitars that have more uh, breathing room or for room for error i like to call it uh, don't deaden strings or have weird buzzes as often when you have more space so it's got a ebony bridge with the pyramid style uh, profile some ebony bridge pins, a bone saddle, ebony fingerboard, a bone nut. It's got presumably some nice Honduran for the head cap there with the Scripps Schoenberg logo. It's got some nice chrome Waverly's with the butterbean knobs. Just classic. Really wonderful guitar. And like I said, light as a feather. Love light guitars. Um, so yeah, if you had any other questions about this guitar, it's presumably a 25 and a half scale, like most OMs. Um, <clears throat> sounds really great when you drop the tunings um, for that reason. But if there's any questions, anything I missed about the guitar, you're welcome to email alan at cedarrockstudio.com. He'll be happy to answer any questions. And yep, hope you have a great holiday and enjoy your day, evening, whatever time of day it is for you, wherever you are in the world. And I'll uh, catch you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.